It detects my microphone? <laughs> In this video, we're gonna be giving away $10,000 to the last person to leave the circle. No, no, we're not. Uh, we're playing Fierce of Atom. Uh, Nordwood Hitchhike. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> I got to the first half, didn't I? Yay! Ooh. I played this game a couple of months ago. If you don't remember, it's basically a game where you send your own uh, real true story stories and then this developer turns them into a real game i haven't played this game since i started the channel basically uh so let's continue first fathom episode 2 Norwood hitchhike june 16th this happened to me when i was 19. i'm a little over 21 now i still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even just a little bit. And now if he's currently playing this game, he's having some type of <laughs> flashback. I was one of those people that love gaming conventions. I've go to every convention I get a chance to and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I sent off, as soon as I realized the traffic was horrible, I decided that I'll take the long way to avoid the traffic. That's the first, that's the first mistake he did, that's the first mistake. It was little over 12 hour drive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'd rather be in the traffic, at least there's a lot of people there and I feel safe. <gasps> I get to drive. It's just like that game we played a few days ago. Hey, no, no, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Oh, Aiden Williams. Never drive and, and be on your phone. Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of this country. That sucks. It's not good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it, I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, and I got a trophy. So we are a girl, we just got back from a gaming convention and now we need to go back home. But because of the traffic, we didn't go through the, through the main road. We went through the long way home. Always do this in real life. Every time you want to read a message, stop the car. Not in the middle of the road, but stop. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. <gasps> oh, I'm low on gas. Uh oh. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Oh no. We are out here in the middle of the forest. Where are we supposed to stop? Unless there's a gas station nearby. But I doubt it. Death. Told you to take that flight. If you paid for the flight, I would have taken it. Oh holy, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling alright. Nope. I'm scared. I'm almost pooping my pants. I have no one to talk to. At least I have battery on my phone. And... Oh! There's... Oh, okay, there's a gas station here. We Okay, don't wanna close a, a, cause an explosion. Let's get out. Okay... Hot dog! 2.25! That's expensive for a hot dog. A gas station hot dog? Holy mom. Uh, sh she's not replying back. How's your night doing? He just looked at me. This dude seems suspicious. Look at his haircut. Everyone knows people who have missing patches of hair. Those people are suspicious. Hello, my nice talk to you again. Yes, ten dollar pump. Uh, you heading to the bridge by yourself? Uh, the bridge, the Norwood Valley Road. I mean, not a lot of people have down there this time of year. Be careful. What you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. Uh, thank you for telling me that. Uh, I'm gonna get traumatized now when I pass the bridge, and people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster 
hath turned them up and hung them upside down on trees. Uh, well, thanks for the guest. <laughs> yeah, let's pretend this didn't happen. Can I talk to you again? You heard about the Norwood Valley monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley monster, you know anything? Big mistake. Oh! Uh, okay. Let's leave. Uh, and one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Why? Some people say she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some people say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she is out for bluff. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstance pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think ma'am. They just ain't. I have a feeling... For... Oh! Yeah, I was confused for a second, I saw a shadow. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you, s could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Oh, okay. L let's get the dog food. Oh. It's this? Yes! G to throw. Oh, I need to pay for the food. I was about to leave without paying. That will be five dollars, ma'am. Pay. Yes, I have money! Cha ching Yeah! Oh! Now, which way do I have to go? Um, to the right. <gasps> Let's race this car! Just like we are in Fast and Furious. I'll be faster than you. Uh, nope, my car is really slow. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. What's that supposed to mean? And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas station, and you don't need to pay me for it. It's not expired or anything, right? Why would I buy expired dog food? I, I mean, I didn't check if it was expired or not. Oh! Uh, hello? Oh. Why did the lights turn out by themselves? Oh! Lights don't start failing on me now! If the lights stop working, I can't see anything. I'm going to have to overtake this dude. He's taking too... He's taking a long time. Oh! Oops! I admit, I was a trouble driver. This dude is taking shots at me. Uh oh, we are in the, on the bridge. Uh, oh no. Remember, if there's a hitchhiker, do not stop. Continue going. Is it raining? Or is this the sound of the sea? Okay, okay. So far, so good. It looks like I'm on the middle of the desert. Uh, I have no idea which way home I'm taking. Oh! Yeah, if someone appears right in front of me, I'm gonna run the mob. Oh, it's a bunny. Okay, it's a bunny. What the frick is that noise? Is that a bunny making that noise? That is a big, really big thing about that night. That's not to be. Oh! Oops. Wait! Huh? Uh, if this isn't a trap, I don't know what isn't. Uh, yeah, just two big logs casually on the middle of the road. Let's do it this way. Yep. And now... <gasps> I'm hearing something! Bro, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Oh! Oh, what? Uh oh! Uh oh, the car wouldn't stop back up. Oh! Oh my god. I'm not saying that I was 
starting to believe whatever the bullcrap the gas station clerk pulled. But I wouldn't be lying if I said I didn't feel slightly of unease. I don't mean... I don't make this sound like a cliche or a story. Throughout my life I was taught not to take rights from strangers. And you were taught right! Never do that! But at that moment I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it will take for someone to pass. If that happened to me, I would be sitting in... I would lock the door in my car and I'll be sitting in the driver's... in the... Um, the back seats. 1023. Um, I feel so long. I saw a car nearing. Oh! From which I... Uh, this one. Hey! Stop! Stop! Ah! I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being standing like that. Because he was probably thought just like you were. To no, don't take right from strangers. Or in this case, don't pick up hitchhikers who are strangers. 10.43, wow, 20 minutes waiting. 20 minutes. Yeah, why didn't... And there's probably no service out here. It's the middle of nowhere. Uh oh. There's a car driving by. Uh oh, uh, he didn't stop. Oh, he did stop. Uh... I don't... Uh oh. Should I... Really? Uh, be... uh, hello? No, it's a dude from the gas station. Uh, hi. Thank you so much for stopping. Didn't didn't think anyone would stop for me here. I'm just gonna say hi. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Uh oh. But what do you need to do in this situation? You could say, yeah, I need the help with the ride. But then you saw this, I start saying random things like, oh, good thing you're a nice person because if a bad person tried to do something to me, I know Muay Thai, I know uh, boxing, I know... You need to say those kind of stuff. Because the person driving is going to be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't kidnap this person because it's terribly dangerous. Why are you having to? Just up the road, the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in! Thank you so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the bank. I won't be here for too long. Only yes, two hands. Wow. Sorry game, I didn't know you were supposed to be realistic. And this, this game is the second time roasting me. Second time. I'm done. Finally, now hop in, be quick. Okay. Maybe this guy is also like worried that. There are two things. He's also worried that someone might appear and to try to do bad stuff to us, or he's scared that someone else is gonna drive by and be like, "No, watch out! This this guy is, is dangerous." So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. Uh. I'd rather not say that, if that's okay. If you say so. Let's just look out the window, the mirror, you're not being followed or anything. You're really lucky I have to be on this side, on the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. What's that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was battery, it's an old car, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It never broke down on me like this, even before. It's my dad, it's pretty old. Uh, one thing I wanna say, why do you have a feminine bag in here? If you're not a girl? Mm, I think I should have, shouldn't have taken this car. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, uh, he really creeped me out. Interesting. And he tells that to every person traveling down here. Oh, so is this true? What? The monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There's some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but... But just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Who is he referring to? I have no idea who is it. You know I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Yeah, I, I realized that earlier. Okay. 
in the game Faded to Black. Twelve eight a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Oh, so this. Oh, so this is actually a nice tooth. Or does he know the person that owns this place? Hmm. Oh no, there's a ton of cars here. Hello. Oh, uh, wait, what's this in the window? Not approved for occupancy. Uh, should I really be staying here? Uh, ooh. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Uh, but we have no choice. We could sleep on our car. Neither room to shake up for the night. How much, how much is it for a room? $40 for single. Is that expensive or not? Cash only. Um, that's... And I'm here, uh, I just got an order, so let's do a live unboxing! I don't have anything to open it, I'll be back. I'm so excited, guys! Let's see what I ordered! <laughs> this is hard! Wow! Oh my god! Let's open one at a time! I'm so excited. <laughs> wow! And I got... Wow! It me from Hunter Hunter! Wow! Why is the package really cold? <laughs> what happened? And this is... The Special Edition! Wow! Oh my god! Let's see the, the other two I got. Oh, wait, a new message. Wow! Bisky from Hunter Hunter! Oh, another package! And let's see the last one. Oh, oh, wow, Emir from Attack on Titan. Ew, she's mad, ugly, but I do love Attack on Titan, so... And let's, let's leave it here. <laughs> Room number 9, right over there. Uh, talk about the car. 90, Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. I have no option, I need to pay. But I have a feeling I shouldn't give my car to other people. And it's, and it's also in the middle of the road, so... Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. That's just like any place in the world. Oh, I, I have service. Uh, not delivered. Uh oh. Hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. Nine. Okay. It was a nice and warm inside. Ah. Except there was a smell of type of musk. Musky smell you get from old houses. See to crouch. Ooh, okay. Oh, I still have no service. So if I had no service, how did I dis receive these messages? Oh, this message was was at 8:59. Ooh, that was a long time ago. Oh, can I hide here? Oh, I I, I indeed can. Oh, <gasps> it detects my microphone. Oh. My Holy! What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking. I'm Tommy, room service, here at Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Northwood. What are you doing there? You know, cleaning stuff? Get the front of the desk, give me this room. He 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 he. What's so funny? I'm going to have to ask you to step step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Leave. But like I said earlier, this detects my microphone. I'm 100% sure there's gonna be someone chasing us. I I'm can't talk in real life. If I do, I'm done for. Uh, is everything done? Add the word with the Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. Huh? But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone, it's not working. If need anything, just ask the front desk. 
but we've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> I wonder why, I wonder why. But you have a good night. Yeah. Get out of here while I watch my Superman. All my stuff is here. Oh, I just, I just need to go to sleep, okay, okay. Ah. <sighs> Sleeping with my luggage on top. Uh Is someone peeing in my toilet? <gasps> uh! Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Bro. Awesome. There, there was someone on my toilet. No one here. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay. No one here. Uh, let's go back to sleep then. Didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. Where, where do I get coffee here? Maybe where they do this? Hey, let's also let's also warn them there was someone spying on us while sleeping. While while we were sleeping. Hey! Right over there, room 9 it is. This dude only repeats the same exact stuff. It's like a machine. Oh talking about machines. Uh what do I want? I want a coffee. Oh, can ah cho chocolate, soda, heat snack, nut chocolate, energy soda? Nah, that's too expensive. Wait, can I? Yeah. It oh, okay, I can. Okay. Chris is your s s sprint speed. Consume. Uh, okay. Ooh, I'm much faster now. Not fast enough still. But my character wanted coffee. If I wanted coffee, where would I have gone? The coffee machine was here. Oh, bye. Oh, it's for free? I'll take it. I'll take everything just for free. Consume. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, hello? Hello? Why is everything... Huh? Why is everything backwards? With my controls? What the... Was I... Did someone drug me? Uh, bad? Oh, I can't even see what he's saying. Everything is so blurry. I just have coffee. Okay, can I go to sleep? Oh, I can. Uh, yeah, let's rest a little bit. What happened? Did I drink too much? 3.18 a.m. I, I was sedated. Huh? How? Uh, wait, what? Hello? I thought there was no service. Someone's, fa someone's farting on the phone? Bro, hang up the phone. <gasps> There's someone on my door! I never screamed this loud in my life. And I need to start everything over. 
This time, not gonna open the closet door. Then what? What? Oh yeah, he's coming. Then what should I do? Should I answer? Oh, that's the manager. Uh, who is it? Joe from the front desk. Open the door. Open the door. Hello. Uh, there's someone in my closet. Please help me. Didn't I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up? I didn't. I was sleeping. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Oh, was it because I got sedated? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is is that why your eyes are all brave? Mention the coffee machine. Yeah, the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? No, there's a coffee machine there. We don't have no. We don't have a coffee machine. Then what did I drink? Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you, crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Yeah, follow me. There's a coffee machine here. I, I swear, if the coffee machine is not here anymore. I... Uh, yeah, the coffee machine is not here anymore. Um, Joe, uh, I promise I'm not lying. I, I know the coffee machine is not here. I know I might seem crazy, but I swear there was a coffee machine here. Go back to the room. Who does he think he's talking to? He's not my dad. I swear to God it was here. I said, go back now. What if, what, what, what if I don't? You're not my parents. Okay, mister, I will. There should be some medication in your room that it should offer you some relief. I'm not gonna take a medicine from a stranger. Check the table by the TV. I'm not gonna take it. Oh. Requires water. Eh, let's hope we feel better. Even though it's from a complete stranger, I still have no idea why we are actually taking it. Let's go to sleep. Hmm. Uh, why am I seeing red? Someone took a picture! Hello? Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Did you hear he, sp he spoke? Bro, no one's home. Look at him. Look! Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Do nothing. I'm not gonna open the door. I know you're in there. Of course you know, I just spoke to you. <gasps> please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. <laughs> Come on. Oh. 
<laughs> Can I? <clears throat> okay. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager in inferred not to get the police involved, as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what I felt like a year. I never went to long road trips again, I would always take airplanes. I'm gonna be honest, in this episode, I suffered the biggest jump scare of my life. One thing really unique so far that hasn't happened in the channel is a game where it detects your microphone and you need to be silent. That part, when I didn't need to talk, was so intense. I was so scared that the clicking noise from my keyboard would make noises so I didn't click. And yeah, now we need to play Carson's house, the next chapter. If you liked the video, please press the like button, subscribe. If you want me to play more Fierce to Phantom in the future, you know what to do. Bye.